I know we have a lot of young people here in this audience. It's a great mix of people here. How many young people here? By your applause, you still live at home. Give me your applause. You still live at home. Awesome. Oh, smart. Smart. Do not be embarrassed, young man. Listen to this. Live at home as long as you possibly can. You got that? You suck every nickel possible out of your parents. Don't be in a hurry to get some dump of your own to live in. I lived at home till I was 27 because I was trying to find myself. And then one day, boom, I found myself out in the front yard with all my stuff. <laughs> I come home, my dad had moved all my stuff out onto the yard. I'm going, but daddy, this ain't fair. I'm still trying to find myself. <laughs> It's like, well, son, you've been looking here for 27 years. Apparently, you are somewhere else. <laughs> now, go look there, son. Uh, maybe when you find yourself, you can pick up a job nearby. That'd be good. <clears throat> I moved back in with my parents when my mom was sick. Uh, my wife and I sold our house in California and moved back home to be with my mother and father. At the age of 55, I moved back into my parents' house. And I learned an incredibly valuable lesson when that happened that I'm going to share with everybody here tonight. I don't care if you're 18 or 88, it applies to our lives, and this, this is it. Here it comes, young man. Ready? <clears throat> your relationship with your parents will continue to get weirder and weirder <laughs> as you get older. You know what I'm saying? Remember when you're like 15, 16, you're living at home, you're getting an argument with your parents, you're up in your room, me. I can't believe I have to take this from those people. I cannot wait till I am 21. Because when I'm an adult, I will make them treat me as their equal. I cannot wait for that day. <laughs> and you know what I learned 10 years ago? That day never comes. You never get on the same adult level as your father. And I learned that one day when I was cutting the grass for my dad. I'm 55 years old at the time. I'm cutting the grass in the hot sun as a favor. Favor! <laughs> Let me explain this to my young friend here. I don't get my allowance anymore. <laughs> I'm not getting that big buck and a quarter a week I used to get. I'm cutting grass for free. All of a sudden, I turn around. My dad is sitting up here on the front porch. He's supervising my work. Now I'm 55 years old. I know how to cut grass. I'm not going to stick my hand under the mower. I'm not going to check the fuel with a lighted match. You, go in the house. I don't need your help anymore. And in that moment, I realize, oh no, it will always be this Someday I'll be 80. My dad will be 114. <laughs> He'll still be sitting up there on the porch. You're not doing it right! <laughs> you never did anything right! <laughs> and I'll be out there behind the mower. I just want your approval! <laughs> hey, thanks for watching that clip. You know, you can watch the entire special for just 99 cents. If you want to do that, click here. Uh, or you could watch more clips and just click there where it says, you know, more clips, whatever that is. Listen, I, I'm being held here against my will until you make a decision. So let's move. I'm hungry. Look at me. I'm wasting away here. Would you click on something?